What's going on, uh, guys? We're uh, doing something new here. I'm live on Twitch as of right now. Um, I don't know how long this video is gonna be, but let me make sure everything's working. How to turn off audio. The music. How to turn off audio. Yeah, I can hear the audio in the background. Sorry about that. I'm, like I said, I'm recording, make sure all the sound's working. And trying to stream as well. So what we're gonna do today is we're playing WWE 2K24. Uh, I just bought it yesterday, I thought it was fun. I'm gonna go ahead and start a new GM. And we're gonna do a storyline with what we can get. So we're going to do whatever we get. That's what we're going to do. All right. So I do have a little experience on this game. Now, I'm not like the fucking greatest, so I'm not like goaded at this game. All right. So just relax. Okay. I do like Adam Pierce and I like him on SmackDown and I'm going to do Stephanie McMahon for Raw. So I don't have to do, I don't, ha I, I realize I don't have to do the other two, um, which is good. So we're going to go ahead and just do these two. Um, and we're going to go, we're going to make a new draft pool is what we're going to do. We're going to go in here. See, that's locked. We're going to go in here and make all these people that I want. Some of these people are going to be. I feel like these are, when they're active, I'm still learning. I think the ones that are active are the ones I can get. Okay. So, so 60 of them is going to be in the draft pool. That's what that means. Um, so if I put some of these on like contracts, that means I won't get them in my, my draft pool. Um, which is okay. I don't like AJ Styles. Sorry. Don't need him in there. Don't really like him either. Don't really know him. Some of these I just don't want in here. I think if I put them on contract, that means we're good. Whoops. But we'll see, we'll see. Jesus, there's so fucking many of these motherfuckers. Whoops. Like I said, I think contract means they're not going to be in the pool, but I can sign them later on. I think. I don't know what local means. We'll put stream. Hopefully. Like I said, I'm still learning this a little bit. Let's try her out. All right, so what's going to happen is now... Yeah, now we got a budget of 35... 3.5 million. So... We're going to go into the draft. We get to draft our people. The WWE and I like how we can do this the without... The other team. All right, let's see. We got The Rock. We got Roman. We got Cody. That's all I wanted right there. So we're going to go ahead and draft them to probably SmackDown. We got Jimmy and Jay or no? Yeah, 
Yep, we do got Jimmy and Jay. Do we have Solo? Doesn't look like we have Solo Sequoia. Okay, well that's kind of shitty, but that's okay. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and get our two main people out of the road. We gotta get Cody and Roman on the same. Roman For sure. The tribal chief will call SmackDown his home. Here, setting the past aside and picking the biggest We're gonna name need, he can. I want uh, Roman Reigns. Oh no, do we not have him? Damien is our main one. Yeah, okay, we do have Damien. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead with Seth freaking Rollins. Raw chooses Seth freaking Rollins. All right, now we do the Cody Rhodes. returns to Raw. A great choice for the centerpiece of your brand. Now we go down to Drew. We gotta have or uh, Damien. Damien Priest. Go ahead and do Damian women's Price now. A a Stephanie always has a plan. Let's Gotta get my Liv Morgan in there, for Liv sure. Morgan. We gotta get Rhea Ripley in there, yup. Pick number four from SmackDown's GM. And my Bliss. SmackDown selects Alexa Bliss. SmackDown getting twisted with Alexa Bliss. So how do we, who do we want to take over Rhea's? I should have put Liv on Rhea, but that's okay. We'll do, uh, we'll do Bianca. Bianca Alright, now we go back to men. Let's go ahead and put The Rock on there. Great pick. Ooh. We need to go get Finn Balor, yep. Finn Balor. So this is gonna suck because our budget's so low with three million. Not in the ring, not for this brand. That we need to we need to watch how we're gonna do all this. We probably can't have all of the judgment day on here. So it's gonna start off really hard, I think. Because we can't have all of the people on here that we want. Okay, we got... Yeah, see, if we add Jimmy, we might not have a fight. So we got to add, like... Let's go ahead and just add uh, Randy Orton to this. Randy Orton, the Viper, has found a lair on SmackDown. Good eye on Pierce We're going to go ahead and add Jey Uso. Main event Jey Uso. Jey Uso. Okay, now we need another Stephanie. woman here. So let's do, let's you. see, we got Bliss. And I don't want to say her name because I got uh, a thing in the back. Let's go ahead and add. I really like Maxine, personally. My personal favorite. We got to add someone big, I think. Let's go ahead and just add Charlotte. Smackdown selects. She'll be our Charlotte title Flair. holder. The Queen's throne is on Smackdown. A major roadblock just came up in this division. Going to add Bailey, Bailey to Raw. We need another woman yet. So let's do uh, let's do Maxine though. I don't know who she would actually team Raw up has with. So many options to choose from here. Raw picks. Ooh. Oscar. Okay, now we need more men here. We need two more men. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do Bray Wyatt. If she like, oh man, I like these two as well. Go ahead, and LA Knight. LA Knight. LA Knight is on a new show, and I'm sure he has a lot to say about it. This guy's a fan favorite with a lot of upside. Let's go ahead and add Gunter, because I love Gunter as well. A statement pick, drafty the ring general. He's a five-star pick without question. We got 647,000. Dad Logan Paul. Logan Paul. If he can go against anybody, you know what I mean? Logan Paul. We need another man. We'll go ahead and do Jimmy. 
and add a brother feud. All right, now we need, hopefully we can get two more women here. Okay, so we got Maxine, right? Okay, we could use her as a tag team partner. Who could we use as a tag team partner? Maybe Cora J, huh? Oh, Becky Lynch ain't even on a squad yet. That sucks. I'm not actually huge on Becky Lynch. We could do uh, Maxine and... This is my own storyline. So let's... Uh, we could do Maxine and Zelina. The problem is we need more... We need one more woman after this. Can we afford her? Can we even... Oh, man, this is tough. What's... What's that going to leave me? It's going to leave me 151,000. And that won't be enough. I mean, I could get... Yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead and do that. Smackdown chooses Zalina Vega. The GM. Right, we need a another one here. Okay, we got 261, man. We're fucking tight here. We're going to go ahead and... Let's see. Oof. Black Draw Cora flex. to this one. Cora J. Cora and then we'll add to a new, new brand. The brand finally recognizing her untapped talent. That's it. We got 7,000 for the first budget, I think. I think we're all right, though, you know? I think we're good. 119, we can only get her, so. All right. There's our fucking... Yeah, let's go. This is going to be tough to start out with, I'm not going to lie. Okay, here we go. We're in San Diego. We got four weeks to Hell in a Cell. Okay, world champion, we are obviously going to go with Roman fucking Reigns. Tag team champion, we're going to do Roman Reigns and The Rock. Men's champion, we're going to go ahead with uh, Logan Paul. Women's division, we're going to have her as the women's champion. Um, so we're going to go ahead and have Maxine. And Zelina. As our champions, what you think so far? I I really like it. I'm trying to new. I'm trying to GM. I'm trying to do a GM. Contract negotiations, cool. I like that one. Select a contracted superstar on your brand to become a permanent superstar for your brand, and that's another one I like. That's why I don't draft higher people. Phew! All right. So I already have two other GMs, um, Ethan, but uh, we're going to go ahead and main event this shit. We're going to go ahead. See, the problem with not having Cody on as a... Uh, sorry, not having Cody. We'll have an interference. Can we have an interference? And it's gonna cost me two thousand. We're trying to get everything riled up. Trying to get some uh Oops, we just need uh let's see. Go ahead and do LA Knight. Get these guys all pumped. Start with these guys here. Can we call out. Yeah, we can.
Man, show's gonna cost 5,000 and we ain't got shit, dude. Alright, it's alright though. We're gonna try her out, I guess. The first show is always the hardest, I think. Alright, Raw World Champion. Who do we want? I think we start out with Seth. Tag team guys will be these two. Gunther being the title holder. Maybe Jay takes that. I don't know. We'll see. Rhea's taking that. Uh, let's see. We want... We want a title match for the... We want all title matches. We'll do Cora versus... Or with Blair. I don't even know who them two really are. I know Cora is... Uh, I think that's... um. What's his name's daughter? Fiend Punk. Our main event needs to be big, so let's do... Um, Start out like that. Do Gunther versus Priest. No. Do Gunther versus Valor. Some of these I'm just kind of guessing on here. See, I don't know. No, we need to do this. We need. Yeah. And then do uh, Oscar verse. Bailey will be fine, whatever. Ah, we'll try it. What's the worst that happens? I don't do good on it. Yeah, this is my third GM job, so. Time to go viral with one of the most polarizing figures in pop culture. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Cleveland, Ohio. Weighing in at 205 pounds. The WWE. Alright, yeah, we'll skip that. That way the YouTube video ain't that long. Oh fuck me. Top his game now. LA Knight is proof positive that being true to yourself is the best way Ooh, to succeed. Yeah, baby. Taking control of his destiny has shown everyone what LA Knight is truly capable of. Yeah, Byron, and I don't think he's ever going to be done proving himself. And he'll take on Logan Paul. But if you're expecting a cake walk, he better think again. No kidding. Logan Paul showed himself to be an absolute natural. Why can't I jump out of the ring, bro? Wow. I know sometimes things are like delayed because I like grabbed him and then like he didn't grab him. That's weird. I know that happens a lot in wrestling games, but like, come on, dude. This is 2K fucking 24, so you get it right now. Sent into the corner. LA able to get out of the way. That's how we win. Put in a position now. Fuck you, bitch. Are you kidding me? I don't care how much padding the floor seems to have. Being thrown out of the ring like that is incredibly unforgiving to your body. Ooh. If this like I ran into the corner, he bounces off the rope, and then it just delayed me to do this. He's 
feel the effects of that last hit. Knight looking like a certified megastar going on the offensive. Boom! Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. I like throwing them over the ribs. I think that shit's hilarious. <laughs> Damn, fucking clocked his ass, bro. Stalking their opponent. What are they gonna do here? Oh, knee hooks to the face, the close line. And Oh, I missed. And Logan isn't looking helpless anymore. Could be what he needed to ignite a rally. Deny it with an elbow. Just really from that offense. Well, all things considered, Cole, it's not a bad condition Damn. to be in at this point in the match. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Oh, uppercut. That'll knock you silly. A calculate. Wait, 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 wait. And an effective pin. Yeah, I hear this. Dropping show of strength this late into the match. Uh oh. Cross the shoulders. So here's the pull takes a run. On the gravy train. Launching out of the way. Ow. Oof. Good punch. Nasty. He returns to the ring. He's looking to do some serious harm. He's turning the tables. I hit triangle, bro. What the fuck? Kick lands. Boom, right across the small of the back. Great defense by Knight. Placing them into the corner. Wicked close line. Logan Paul is looking absolutely powerless. Kelly Knight can do it. Stepping it into us. Oh, kicks it, kicks it. Logan Paul showing why you just can't underestimate him in this game. He's got that insatiable hunger. He's got that never-ending gas tank. And I think he can end it here. He's got him. Turn around, right? The action's behind you. <laughs> oh my god, it's funny, dude. I was just seeing if they actually... No way. I was just saying. I was just seeing if they actually, uh... Stop what they're doing or not. I like that they don't. Planning on what to do next. Knight might be looking to fly. Blast off. Mediocre. Fuck you. See, that's what's so bad because there's not a rivalry on rival on the first rounds that it's just hard to. And there's no way I can actually make like on my GM. You can't like start rivals after the match or before the match. When you do like an actual story based on the other, I can't remember what the other uh, section is. But like you can actually sit there and after the match you can break out and beat their ass. So in here you can't. I wish you could though. If she lets you be able to do that so you can start a rival easier. But I know that kinda that kinda defeats the purpose of the matches too. Makes it too easy, I guess. 
Like here, I'm trying to get her and Liv to be, because there, there's two of my favorites, to be honest. I'm trying to get these two to be tag team champions, so I'm trying to start a rival between her and Vega. And Yeah, see, like, I can't break out right now and actually start a rival, which is kind of dumb. But you definitely let me. Yeah, mediocre, I figured. I figured. I need Charlotte to win this. I might end up. I actually might end up DQing myself on this. Here comes the queen. To see what happens. You know what I mean? I might end up having Charlotte. Take out a weapon and beat her up. I don't know if it'll add to the rivalry or the rivalry. Jesus Christ, can you fuck? As much as I love Liv, I need to do a storyline. Uh oh, way too long. Crash 
crushing onto their opponent. Oh, what a kick. Liv is losing any kind of advantage here. Yeah, Morgan is having trouble fighting back. Delivered into the barricade. Face first off the barricade. And Liv's usual persistence only got squished there. The Queen came into this match with the express purpose of putting a beat up high. Oh, my. Apron sent high. Kicks out. I'm going it. Yep, I'm doing it. Showed what she's made of there with a really impressive kick out, and I think Charlotte may have to figure out a new game plan here. I guarantee that chair is not going to be used as it was designed for. Morgan and the WWE Universe exchanging their appreciation for each other. She will wisely return to the ring now. She's got to be careful here. The referee will count her out. Can I grab the ref? Can I hit the ref to like knock her out? Are you kidding me? How did that miss? Fails to connect on a springboard. I need to hit her out. Gotta find a way to get out of this. Liv Morgan needs to figure this out. Yeah, Liv's defensive instincts need to kick in. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. If she kicks out this time, I'm 100% doing it. Yeah. Oh, my. 
my baby's awoken. Oh no. Alright, we don't want to watch all of it. It was okay. Yeah, that's good. Two and a half stars is a lot better than two. I'm gonna go ahead and simulate this one. This was just a throw-in match. Oh, I was disappointed. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and simulate this one. Rhea Ripley, hopefully. No. That's all right. We need those two to have a rival, though. Go ahead and play this one. We want Gunter to beat the fuck out of Finn. Yeah, we need Gunter to beat him. Hopefully, so this first this first playthrough storyline is gonna be kind of boring until we get more characters. The Prince Finn Balor with a determined oh Jesus! Come on, dude. Grab his ass. This damn game sometimes pisses me off, bro. I'm gonna throw him into the fucking corner. I'm gonna go ahead and fucking disqualify myself. That shows you the ring general's genius in action. He's got one thing on his mind with that chair. It has nothing to do with lounging. Officials saying slow down, not so fast. You might want to rethink that. Oh, God. Face first. And burning Larry. Our official just took a big hit. Clean in there. Alright, I'm gonna throw his ass out then. Throw his ass out and then I'm gonna get DQ'd. I wonder if I can get a uh, table out. Put him through the fucking table. That'd be worth it. He's rummaging for some sort of equalizer underneath the ring. Drops the knee. And now it's time to solve from Gunther here. Finn Balor is under the gun. Thrown back in under the ropes. Absolutely no telling what's underneath the ring tonight. Nope, I don't know where I can. How do you throw... Pick up object, okay. Throw object. Wonder if I can throw it into the ring and distract her. Back into the ring. 
Oh fuck, he got me. I was I mean I was paying attention, but Jesus Christ. Alright, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna try to throw his ass out of the ring. Get him a little broke. I'm gonna throw a chair in the ring and see if she fucking if she gets distracted. We're gonna try it out. So throw, apparently throwing it at him. I can't, whoops. I didn't want to do that. <laughs> I didn't want to do that. I wanted to throw it in the ring, bro. That didn't work. Yeah, it wasn't very good the first round. Damn, I did get a lot of money off that show, though. From my previous attempts. That was awful. Trust me, I've been to a couple Rawls where it's been off. Awesome. Alright, so this week's show kind of sucked. YouTube, I'm so sorry. But hopefully next, next week we do a lot better. Uh, before I end this, we've got three weeks to hell in a cell. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, see, we can, we can do, we can buy, like, fog effects and stuff. So we can do... I'm probably gonna do fog effects because it does it does open a steel cage up. Um, but we want to get out of high school first, so next week's show might be pretty freaking boring too. Um, because like I said, we definitely want to get out of the high school. We want to get to the concert hall at least. Um, so hopefully we can do that. So, let's see how it goes. We got Contract Negotiator, Instigator, Birth of Legends, Select a Contract Superstar and Brand to be Permanent. Yeah, see, I like Homecoming. I like that. So, what we could always do is open up to Talent Scouts here and just go to the highest level and contract them. When we get enough money, and then just go ahead and chuck McWagon. But we'll see. Um, that's the end of the first episode, sadly. I'm so sorry. Uh, so, I'm going to end this recording. See y'all next week. Peace out.